Is there a more optimistic way to look at the refugee crisis? Turning them from a burden into an asset? There are millions of people, tens of millions of people in the world these days displaced by conflict and war. This is especially the case in Europe, which is experiencing refugee crisis due to the war that has been raging in Syria for the last few years. Refugees have troubled past and a bleak future. And if we don't help them to succeed, our future is not going to be bright either. If we don't help them to become constructive, productive members of their new societies, it is going to be a catastrophic waste of talent and productivity. I believe that education, and especially higher education, is a key ingredient for their success. Research show that there is a direct correlation between the level of higher education of a country and its success. The return on investment on higher education is incredible. Logically, a lot should be invested in higher education, and especially in higher education of refugees. But this doesn't happen. Government typically do not put higher education for refugees as top priority, simply because it's too costly. Budget is limited, and tough choices need to be made. And there is a direct conflict between the immediate, the immense needs of the refugees, and investing in higher education for refugees will only bear fruits in many years to come. As a result, the likelihood of a refugee to end up in higher education in their host countries is less than 10 percent. That means that millions of talented, qualified refugees will never have the opportunity to fully realize their potential. But does it have to be this way? Actually, no. Higher education for refugees can be both accessible and affordable. And the solution is online learning. It is accessible because there are no limits of seats in online classes. Everyone can have the front row seat. It is affordable because it cut the cost of Classrooms, dormitories, printed material. Millions of students are taking online classes these days all over the world. The best universities of the world, Harvard, Yale, MIT, Stanford, Oxford, all offer online courses. Seven years ago, I started the first non-profit, tuition-free, accredited online university called University of the People. Its core mission is to make higher education affordable and accessible to every qualified student, to make higher education a basic right for all and not a privilege for a few. Earlier this year, we announced a new initiative to offer 500 refugees, primarily Syrian, the opportunity to study for free with a full scholarship with the University of the People. This is, <laughs> this is more than any university to date. Every refugee who, is, who is a, has a high school diploma and is proficient in English, in English is eligible to apply. Moreover, since we realized that a lot of refugees have fled their homes without any documents, we set in place a special, a special admission procedure to enable them to begin their studies even without the academic document typically required by other uh, academic institutions. Today, we have already over 1,800 refugees applying for this scholarship. More than half of them, by the way, are displaced uh, in Syria itself. We secure funding for 500 uh, refugees. 250 have started, another 250 will start uh, in the coming month. We're also working with potential university partners to enable as many, both in the US, in the UK, in Germany, in Sweden, and in Norway, to enable as many refugees as possible to transfer after two years with us to the local universities. 
This is modeled after our agreement with UC Berkeley, whereas our associate degree holders, after two years with us, can transfer to UC, can apply to transfer to UC Berkeley to complete their BA. While studying with us, the refugees are able to work on their legal a document to establish their legal status, as well as master the local language before transferring to the local university. University of the People would like to, to launch even a larger initiative to offer 12,000 refugees the opportunity to study. Given the necessary resources, we will develop University of the People in Arabic. From the academic faculty to the administrative staff, the entire program will run by refugees and for refugees. Thank you. These two initiatives are both replicable and scalable. With the minimum investment, every single refugee will have the opportunity for higher education. Anyone, anywhere, anytime. This, I believe, is an optimistic way to look at the refugee crisis. Just imagine what we can do for the refugees, for their communities, for the host countries, and for the world. Thank you.